What's up guys, Anko Spankin here, and today we are playing as Nautilus in the jungle. And, you know, I originally was going to be playing Elise in the jungle, and I decided that, hey, I'm actually really trash with her, so hey, there you go, decided not to. But I did want to let you guys know that I did add, or not add, I did read you guys' comments on that last video, and the uh, definite top three champions you guys were really wanting to see were Aatrox in the top. Trindamir in the top, and maybe Yorick. Yorick was far lower than the other two, but definitely, you know, Trindamir and Aatrox are the top two people. So I'll try to make both of the next two top lane videos, Trindamir and Aatrox, just for you guys. And one other quick announcement before we get this video going. This is a pretty important announcement, pretty big one. Um, for those of you that do not know, I do stream on twitch.tv forward slash ankle spanking. Um, I do that at least once every Sunday. Uh, other than that, I just stream whenever I want. I forgot to put my shield up, but whatever. Um, anyways, wanted to let you guys know that this Saturday night, so should be tonight for you guys, um, but this Saturday night, April 25th, uh, going through the 26th, which is Sunday, I will be doing, at the very least, a 12-hour stream. Uh, aiming for 24 hour stream to help announce the um, this whole Team Zoo thing for my friend. It's basically a streaming team for a it's uh, it's a bunch of like decent sized streamers and YouTubers, a um, bunch of cool people. You got Disciple in there, you got Red Mercy, you got Brofresco, you have Fox Drop Fi, uh, all these great dudes, and we will be doing like rank fives and stuff like that uh, over the course of the day. I will be playing a lot of League that day. Um, streaming the whole time, playing with whoever. So I do really hope a bunch of you guys come out and decide to have fun and hang out with me. Um, should be a great time. Should be a great time. And overall, I think I'm, I'm going to shoot for actually more than 24 hours is the goal. But I don't know how realistic that is. Anyways, if you guys want to, please do follow me there. Like I said, twitch.tv forward slash ankle spank. And it is in the description. Um... So hopefully I'll see all you guys there. But with that said and done, let's go ahead and get right into this game. We are playing the Nautilus jungle, which actually is a very powerful jungler right now. Um, incredibly powerful, actually. And I will be trying to get a gank off on this guy right... Oh, come here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that'll miss. Come here. Come on. Come on. Bop. There we go. Get some good pain off on him. And I'm not going to go further than that. Whoa! Whoa! Scion will get the first blood. Teemo will get the return kill. Does Teemo have teleport? No, he does not. So I'm going to push this out as fast as I can. Because this will give me an excuse to get some lane minions and, uh, you know, also some experience and stuff. But ideally, since I am Nautilus, I should actually be able to do this decently well. Um, and I don't know if this is actually the better thing to do right now, to level my Riptide first or not. But we're going to do it anyways, because I know it does a shit ton of damage. So there we go, we were able to push the, the wave out definitely fast enough. Got ourselves some good money there, got ourselves some good shit going. Let's see if I can get something off on this Ezreal as well. I would do this if I wasn't, like, flying, just hurtling towards mid right now. Um, but as you guys can see, here I am. Maybe is this guy... Yeah, gonna do anything? No, it looks like he's kind of stepping forward, though. So let's go ahead and just, uh, bop, bop that one. Hey, hello! Hello! Oh, oh, wait, why are you right here? Alright, whatever. You know, I don't really want to do this anymore. It probably isn't a good idea. Wait! Wait! Hey, that's gonna be a dead fiddlesticks! There's one kill! Let's go ahead and snare him in place. Flash, maybe the hook? Boosh! Drop the Riptide, keep bopping him. One more bop, there we go. The double kill for the Nautilus will put me at 2-0 and 1. And now let's go ahead and just pick off, you know, all these minions as well. So this, wow. This is a ridiculous showing of Nautilus, but it's so accurate to just how great he is right now. That's the really funny thing about this. So there we go, five and a half minutes into the game. Haven't gone back yet, already level six. Already six, what? <laughs> what the fuck? That is huge! Oh my gosh. I already have my entire Cinder Hulk too. 
I don't feel like I should get that, though. I feel like I should get this. Mobilities. There we go. I think this is going to be the better choice. I think getting all this stuff will be the much better choice. So let's go ahead and uh, start ganking even more. And the reason that I didn't finish my entire Cinder Hulk on that back was because for ganking, especially when I'm this far ahead, I want those mobility boots. Because mobility boots, I should be able to show you wh exactly why in this gank that I'm going to be doing right here. Why we want the mobility boots. Because basically, it stops me from having to use either... Oh, hello, fiddlesticks! Fancy meeting you here! He's going down. And... Oh. Hell no! Oh. Got him! So let's see. Hoop! The hook! No! Flash auto! Come on, drop the riptide! There's gonna be one kill! Yep, the red's gonna get him! And there we go, the double kill! Do I have enough money for the hook? Or mo money? Mana for the hook? I don't, but that'll still put me... Oh! The Ezreal True Shot Barrage will pick up the kill. Get wrecked. So let's see... Oh, wait. What? Come here, bitch! Alright, that's gonna be... Uh! Damn it. Alright, not gonna be enough. But still get a lot of damage off on her. Still cool. Let's go ahead and just smite this. Try and push it out. Um, or just get it low enough, you know. So there we go. That should be good enough for her. Let's... Uh, I was hoping to actually get that one. But that's okay. Then I'm going to run over here do my Krugs real fast. Because then, after I do the Krugs, I can actually get my full... Uh, my full Cinder Hulk. Because I am 50 gold off of it. But still, two more kills coming out there from that gank. Will be tremendously good. Let's go ahead and... Wait, I don't have... There it is. There's a the mana for the Riptide. And just keep autoing it a bit. So, so far, I'm definitely liking this Riptide Max. Because of how they changed it, they made, I think, the slow shorter. But they made the cooldown a lot shorter, too. Um, so it's... It's better for a lot of damage. I guess Jinx trying to shoot a rocket will miss. Saw that on the minimap. And let's get right back into the action here. So as far as CSing goes, too, we're doing a pretty good job for a jungler. Uh, I, th I think. Yeah, we're definitely crushing Fiddle 6, that's for sure. So we're going to grab red, and my ultimate will be up in 35 seconds. But anyways, back to what I was saying about the mobility boots. Why they're so important on Nautilus. Um, because Nautilus is like this master of crowd control, it's so important to like be able to save as much of it as you can until you actually need to use it. Because when you have mobility boots, you can just charge into lanes... And just smack things, right, with your first auto attack. That snares them and also gives you a chance to use your Riptide. Now, if you keep going with that and they have a gap closer or a flash or something, since you had those mobility boots and were able to get that immediate, like that first snare off and tons of damage to make them bust their gap closer without you using yours, that still leaves you with your ultimate and your hook. And that's so tremendous. It makes it so difficult for people to get away from you when you have... All of this natural crowd control, and I guess Fiddle Six just took my big wolf sometime. That's not cool, man. All right, whatever. So let's go ahead and do this blue real fast. Um, as you guys can see, nine minutes. We are four zero and one. Our Cinder Hulk is here. We are going to get to the point of tankiness where it doesn't really matter what we do. And I'm actually going to kill this, and we're just going to go dive Teemo because um, that's what I'm feeling like doing. And it looks like he's going to take the red. All right. Maybe, oh, they just got the dragon. D. Go ahead and call the D. So let's see. Oh, never mind. We don't need to dive him at all. That will be the snipe with the roar of the slayer. So that's pretty cool, but that'll be the top tier going down. Riven stole the red, and now I can kind of run towards mid. I'll drop a pink in there just for the sake of having it, and we'll see what we can do to this Ezreal. Now, Ezreal is kind of an interesting case, by the way, because obviously we can't really just run right into him and expect to stop him, or we totally can. So let's go ahead and just slow him down a bunch here, and... Oh, God, I missed. All right, use the ultimate, and there goes the splash. So that's kind of awkward. I mean, it nullifies my whole point when I miss, because I fucking suck. Um, but, you know, that, that's okay. So let's see if we can get a gank off down here, too. There was a pink right there. So I'm not sure if they saw me or not. It looks like they may have. Come here, I ain't falling for that. I ain't falling for this. Bop. So let's go ahead and do a bunch of damage here. Hook them. That's going to be one bop. And oh, the Nami wave will flash out. And I don't think we're going to be catching them because there is a tower there. So no more of that. Bop. And let's go ahead and run over here and get this pink real fast. 
So 4 0 oh, and 2. It looks like Scion has just a banner of command so far. That's kind of interesting. And they haven't taken this first scuttle crab yet, so I will be taking that myself. Um, for the vision, for the money, uh, just to get it, you know, basically, I guess you could go as far as saying off cooldown in a sense. Uh, and let's see, we might actually be able to dive this guy. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, well, clearly they know. So I'm going to go ahead and just say I'm coming. Whee! Woo! Bonk! So the E will be taking the kill. Looks like Bard is on his way. Hiya! Wait. Come on, come on. Hoot! Yeah, got him! So that will be the next kill. Bard ultimate. Wow, getting all three of us, but will not matter. The hook coming out. And let's see it, let's see it. Let's see. If Ezreal tries to ult, we'll be totally fine. In fact, I think if he tries to get too close, we can just fight this. So, hoot! Smash him with it! Drop it! There's the bubble! And the autos! That's gonna... No! Not gonna be getting me the kill, but he will be going down. And that definitely should be two kills for them. Maybe it better be. And the magical journey? Will it? Yeah, it will be! So that is perfect. Perfectly done. So I will give my life for two more kills for our bot lane. Granted, Nami got one of them. That's totally fine. That is entirely fine. So let's go straight for the Righteous Glory here, because this is going to be an item that we really want. Um, the faster I can get this Righteous Glory too, the better off my team will be. And I know I have a pink already on the map right here, but it will be very good for me to have another one so I can transition the location of my map control. Um, so if I can establish more in, mul like in a new place that we need it, like instead of needing it up here around when Dragon spawns, uh, which I did mark, so it'll be around the 15 and a half minute mark when it spawns. I'll be, whoops, I was going the wrong way. But we'll be able to um, drop another pink in a more uh, relevant location. Instead of just, you know, having it up there and being like, oh darn, I guess my pink isn't in the right place anymore. So let's go see what we can do over this blue. Looks like this guy is not going to be in a good spot. Here I come, wee woo. Bopping him with that ultimate there, stopping him in his tracks. What are you trying to ult for? And that will be the kill off on him. Let's see if we can get ourselves this blue. So, hi, yeah. Or Nami will get it. <laughs> I guess that works too. Uh, that's that's exactly what I expected to happen. Of course, one hundred percent. So, I mean, I mean, I'll be totally honest. That's not all what I expected to happen. That's totally fine. So, oof. The stun coming out, but I don't think we're going to be doing anything. Wait, Scion, are you okay? I'm coming, buddy! I'm coming, buddy! Alright, Teemo with the blind, and he already uses Flash. Bop! That's going to be some damage going off on the, or the Nami ultimate! Oh, everything going out. Wait, no, Scion, you still died. No. Oh, okay. I guess that's okay. Makes me a little sad, but I guess it's okay. So I'm just going to smite this, get the buff. Uh, which is this little orb right here, which, if anyone's in this jungle, will go find them, but clearly no one's in the jungle. Jinx is unstoppable, and let's see... Alright, my ultimate will be back up in a few seconds again. Ha-ha! Exactly what it does! Spotted! So let's go ahead. Dragon, about a minute. My red buff is up. My blue buff is up. I can get the Righteous Glory. This is huge. Let's go ahead and take this right fast. Right fast real fast as well um because this will actually provide us with a bit of extra vision without having to you know actually spend anything on it so that's always good and of course i'm not going to be using my smite on um, on anything right now because i do want it up for the dragon fight if we do have one granted we are relatively far ahead right now but that doesn't mean i can just you know be like haha whatever uh you know they can't do anything to come back because throws do happen and that's <laughs> Honestly, one of my best pieces of advice I could truly give anyone, uh, no matter how far ahead you are, don't let yourself get cocky. Because I have seen games like this go downhill far too fast, far too many times, um, to let myself truly get, you know, out of hand. Um, obviously, for you guys, I do like to mess around sometimes. No one can deny it. Everyone's seen me do it. But, especially in ranked, even if I'm fed, I will generally almost a hundred percent of the time take the safe play um just because if you don't take the safe plays 
you have a chance of really fucking it up. And when I say safe, I'm not saying, like, oh, you have to pretend like everything in the world will kill you. Just more along the lines of, uh, you know, you really gotta be careful. You know, you don't wanna... Oh, oh, oh. Wait, did he go towards this tower? That wasn't a good idea. Let's go ahead and just ult him, kind of walk through the tower. Flash, bop, and bonk. So... Easy kills. Actually, that hit Caitlyn across the mouth. That's pretty funny. So let's go ahead and drop our potions and go over here to the dragon. Uh, I will drop my pink right here because this will give me some vision. I, actually, I should be able to do this on my own. I think I can. I think I can. We'll find out. So let's just go ahead and keep spamming Riptide as much as we can. It's looking like my shield is ha holding on pretty well. So, yeah, I could definitely solo this. But I do have my team coming anyways, so I don't have to solo it. I don't have to be lonely. So drop the shield. This is going to be a free dragon for us. And BAM! Use that smite on it. And now we can go back. Whoa! Spend a lot of money. Come here! That's going to be the stun! And... Wait, not stun the snare. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Ooh! The flash out of the bard ultimate. Huh. Nice! And to be honest, I actually have no idea what Bard's Ultimate is called. Like, come to think of it, I really have no clue. So, yeah. Interesting. So they are running double uh, AD comp, which, when their two AP things are really weak, uh, you know, this double AD will get destroyed by me rushing a Thornmail. So I think after I get my War Mogs now, I'm just going to go straight for a Thornmail. And as you guys can see, it's 17 and a half minutes into the game, and I have 3,400 health. Now... I, that's not to say I'm invincible, per se, but I'm damn near. Uh, th this level of tankiness is beyond ridiculous for this point in the game. Um, like, it will definitely take a very large amount of time for them to kill me. Plus, now that I have the Righteous Glory, they're not going to get away from me. Even it, Like, it's going to be even harder for them to get away from me. So let's go ahead and drop a ward there. Uh, the red is not up. I thought it would be. Oh, you guys watching this? Come here. Come here. hi yeah! Smack him in the mouth! Look at all this pain this dishing out on him! Go ahead and drop the hook. Look at it! Drop the E! Drop another auto! And BOP! Alright, he's dead. So, as you guys can see, I mean, there was really no fight there. And looks like the Jinx is autoing too much. We'll die! And there she goes down. Oh, Teemo Shroom. Alright, you know what? Here we go, the Righteous Glory being popped. Go ahead and drop the ultimate there on him. He's going up. Bam! That's going to be the kill. And look at this. Look at all this damage I'm taking. What? What is even going on? What's happening? And I think... they will just walk past here. Say, I don't give a hoot. Give her that blue, because I don't need it. Um, but let's see if I can get this Gromp. Oh, you're dead. Well, that's a bit of a shame. But now I have the... Um, boop. Gonna go ahead and grab that. But now I have the Gromp buff. And I'm only 100 gold off of my War Mogs already. So I'm just going to walk up here, take this wave. And as you guys can see, she's actually doing more damage almost to herself than she is to me. So, uh-oh. Alright, Spider-Man! I'm spider man and out. There we go. I'm out. Peace. So Scion Ultimate coming out will actually be picking up a kill. And the E. Wow, that did a lot of damage if we look at it. And there's the Blood Furnace. There's the Ignite. There's the Pop. That will be the double kill! Wow, very impressive, and I can't recall. There, there's minions. Curses. Alright, walk in the middle of these guys, drop my Riptide, absolutely Shrek the wave, and Scion will be going down. So, it's a shame that he's going down, but we can go get our full War Mugs now, and that will be a lot more HP. So this will give us, what, we're 3490-ish right now, and then we go up to 3771. Not even 20 minutes in, well, exactly 20 minutes now. Uh, and just about 4,000 health. That is ridiculous. So, next up will be the Thorn Mail. And then after that, if I do need the MR, if the game's even going on that long, it'll probably be... I could actually go for something fun like a Wit's End or an Abyssal Scepter if I wanted to do some more damage. Um, but the tanking opportunity... Oh, there goes the end of the game. That'll be the Jinx Rocket and the Subterranean Super Nautilus Bomb coming out, but will be the Surrender Vote anyways. So a fantastically played Nautilus game. Absolutely beautiful play on the Nautilus thing. Alright, now that will be the end of the game. I'm going to cut that little part out because I have a chat open I don't want you guys to see. 
asked. But here we go. Here's the ending screens. Uh, here's all the money. Here's all the CS. Uh, everything. All the builds. Let's look at the damage real fast. <laughs> Nautilus with the most damage on the team. Woo! <laughs> I'll take it. I will take it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, though, make sure you like and favorite else me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and my second channel. For links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!